According to Save Water Network, a non-governmental organization, over 23 million people lack access to safe water in Ghana. Though water is a basic need in human life, it is becoming a scarce commodity in some communities in the German sub municipality of the Bunu region. Communities that have been worse affected include Kwaje Kesikrom, Basakrom, and Bebieniha. Streams that these communities depend on are all dried up. Boreholes would have saved the situation, but unfortunately, most of these communities do not have any. The few ones available are not functioning well. In this dry season, it is becoming extremely difficult for most people to get water for their daily chores. Residents of some of the communities have been sharing their challenges with City News. <laughs> Ya ni zo ba kokra ya krim ye zo ba kokra si hai asai ni owo hai so asai e se nhia mo ai nhia ni pa ni obejin ha obema ye zo zo problem dey wo bi wo ye kru ha pa ya stress am pre so ma boy na o mema ye zo krim na ye nhia zo so ni re ho chire pa nke nya chi no po be ka we ho nka ye pe because wo ko pa ibu so utim bo a nya so ni bi Oba bless a on to so be dey wonya nsuo ni bi bi ana ni pa na do so ye nyina ye nsuo e ba kopɛ tamfan fo be ba tamfan fo be ba ni nyina ya kabo ni ejina nsuo no wuti nyina so saa bi so ba na opente mo mu wa ko e bia mi enu because mi enu saa no se do so no ko ha ya wo benya bi wa nko ha so no ye nyina ejina nsuo ba ko ho a e ba saa e mo e ho kire nsuo ho pa ntie this year be dey dey e sha ne se nya me be kana koma na wa ye dey wa bo ay we nsuo no ho a e benya Bia chinu no de bebele so be bo ho ni bi so amaya chinu ni de nya ya nke be bo ay pa because u be bu pipe na no ha me ma yin ko so man ye de ye bu nsu nti ye bere wo nsu no ho pa nti nya chinu ni de a ke be bo ay pa ba ko pa no ha de nya be mi yoro na mi ze fa kure ho ngoye ya ho chire de zo de se nya bi asa nya ho ne kwa be na mo ho chire mo ye pa fu no nga ye no o se ye bi su ya ko se ye Assembly members for two of the electoral areas tell the news team what they have done to ensure their people get portable water. The water challenge in uh, my electoral area, specifically Kwajokesikrum and Basakrum. Kwajokesikrum is a population of about 3,500 and Basakrum is about 2,500. And with these two communities, the major challenge is about water. And they say water is life. But when, when you come here, it has become a threat to the community. So we sat down and decided to mobilize some money for our raise fund for ourselves, but we couldn't. So we are now appealing to the municipal chief executive and then the assembly and then the government so that they can help us or assist us to get maybe new pipes, mechanize one, so that our people can get or have access to quality water. This is the, uh, this is the town called Babienha. Uh, first town that uh, you get before you enter German South. Um, we have a population of about 5,000 and over. And we are faced with water challenges. Uh, normally, uh, our water system here is something like it is the community that helps ourselves to maybe dig our own boreholes. So there was a time uh, people of the town stood up to um, demonstrate against Nananam and the assemblyman for not listening to their plight. So we managed to uh, dig one of the boreholes and as well as mechanize it. It is at the top side of the town. Now you see the the the. Uh, the road has divided the town into two. The other side too is complaining of their water challenges. So we have um, informed authorities to come and help us. But it seems uh, things are not going through. So as you are here, we want to appeal to you so that the authorities will hear our, our problems so that they will come and help us. Municipal Chief Executive for German South Municipality, Andres Bidia can tell City News Steps, has taken to ensure the water situation is resolved.
Water situation um, is a challenge, but not um, something that we cannot um, deal with. Um, as I speak, we have plans. Um, we have some of uh, the communities uh, benefiting from a project that we are undertaking now. Now, as we speak, I have people who are on the ground in some of the communities drilling some boreholes that we are going to mechanize. And uh, um, at the start, we are doing about seven of them within this week. So when you put together, within the next two weeks or so, all these communities will have mechanized uh, boreholes that will assist them. As we visited some of the communities, they still have challenges. Some of them have challenges. And uh, this year we have it in our budget, that uh, especially from DDF uh, fund, that uh, we are going to provide a lot of communities with boreholes. Some, um, initially we decided to do the solar system, but the communities complain that the solar system doesn't help them. So we should change the solar ones to uh, um, either mechanized borehole that will use electricity, uh, especially those places that we have electricity. Or some need the hand pump one, the, the manual one. So we are looking at all these possibilities to see which ones will be beneficial to the communities. That will not give a lot of cost to the assembly and uh, also the community. From Kwajo Kesikrom in the German sub-municipality of the Buno region, Michael Saponifum, City News.